Hello and welcome. My name is Amulli and in this video, basically this is going to be a series of video and this is very first video in the series of React for beginners. And in the first video, we are going to learn how to create React elements. Okay, so if you understand the very basic of React, React elements, it is going to be very easy for you to understand the higher concept of react okay so let's go ahead and start so what i've done basically created a folder on the desktop and in the folder i have html index html file i'm using vs code and here you can see i've got that folder and this is the html file index.html so let's go ahead and quickly so i'm not going to use create react app i'm just going to use uh, the serial link for few tutorials like few initial tutorials so let's go ahead and create HTML5 skeleton and this is going to be on react elements okay and we are going to have that's done so we are going to have an ID basically a div uh, a div with an id app and then we are going to have okay that link cdn link so just go ahead and open it and here we are script and then we have two links here so let's go ahead and get the link i will leave this link in the description so this is the link for react okay so react is basically react is to create elements okay and react dom is basically to put that in the dom tree i hope i've got it i'll quickly go ahead and copy it just to make sure everything should work perfectly okay done so let's go ahead and minimize it fold it and we have a div id now we need this script thing here and this is where we are going to create react elements so very first thing let's go ahead and test it so you can see on the very basic it is using basically uh, HTML like JavaScript that is called JSX if we go ahead and paste it over here and I'm going to use live server however you can go ahead and simply launch it from the folder as well you can see this has nothing on it so basically if i go ahead and use or you can do open this way as well so you can see it's basically pulling nothing it is giving me some error so basically it's not able to compile or understand this thing here you can look at that so we're going to get rid of it first we're going to create an element using react create element so I'm going to assign that element to this cost you can use var let whatever you want so let's say my le element here yeah, and then you will have to say react okay create element and then everything will go inside okay so in the element they basically there is just one thing okay but 
it could be any HTML tag. So it could be h1 like header, div, whatever you want. But so if I just want to have h1, we have two or more options to it. Okay. So let's say I have to give an attribute to h1 element or div element. So it could be like class name or could be ID that goes just after that. So it's more like the HTML thing here. You see, this is suppose this is an element and this is going to be h1 element. Let's go ahead and create it. So h1 and then I'm going to give an ID. Let's say header. So you can see here basically this is the element. Okay, then we have attribute to the to this element. And then I'll go ahead and put something here uh, header so that's going to be the children of this h1 or inner HTML or text whatever you call it so that's what it's going to be so the second thing is going to be ID or is going to be a class name so let's say I want to say header then I can go ahead and say class name so you don't say class in JavaScript you say class name so and then you can say yeah header whatever name you want to give this is just for demonstration the third thing is going to be to this element is basically its children content or whatever you call it inner HTML whatsoever you call it so the idea here has to be very much like crystal clear so the next stuff is basically it's um, the children the content so let's say we, are, we want to say react element goes here i'm going to just remove it just going to comment it so that's basically the element if you go ahead and have a look at it basically this is nothing to display if I go ahead and check the console nothing in it let's go ahead and first console log my element and have a look so you can see we've got a lot of things as soon as we console logged it so you can see it has props and this has objects ID and class name header it has a children of this text and then there's no reference to it and there is a type h1 okay so that's basically HTML type HTML tag type okay so the element has been basically created now we need to put this element in HTML uh, dom tree okay the same thing so for that we basically use react dom this is react dom job okay so you simply say react dom render and then the name of the element so that is going to be this and the comma and where you want to put it so we want to put in app like this div with the app id so in more like javascript you say document get element by id or query selector whatsoever it is so let's say i want to say qu sorry query selector and then we're going to select the id if if you go ahead and check here you see this is react element so this is very first react element and if we go ahead and have a look warning there is something warning here nesting forget it okay forget this warning go to console this is working so I have a react detector here 
it's connecting to Rhea, troubleshoot, look at, it's trying to connect. Okay, same thing, let's go ahead and refresh it, and here is your React element. If you go ahead and uh, inspect the element, you are basically getting the same thing here. So, we basically created app, sorry, div with an ID app, and then we have created an element of h1 given ID in class, and then here is the children of the h element. So this is how basically you create element in JavaScript, sorry, in React.js and this is how you uh, put the element in the Re uh, HTML DOM tree. Why is it giving, oh sorry. Okay, that was an error as per this editor. Oh, it's, it's, it should be okay now. I'm not getting any error now. So that was hopefully the issue. I'm still getting it. Okay, that's slightly different now. So that's it for this very first video. If you have still any question, you can go ahead and comment below. Okay, and we will talk about JSX and creating components and elements with JSX in next video. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.